Hello friends, this video on symmetry part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now let's talk about the number of lines of symmetry. So we understood what is a line of symmetry, what is horizontal and vertical lines of symmetry. Now we will talk about how many lines of symmetry can exist in an object. Well, an object can have none or one or more lines of symmetry. So there is no specific limitation to how many lines of symmetry an object may have. So we have seen asymmetrical objects. So obviously asymmetrical objects will not have any line of symmetry. So they have zero lines of symmetry. But symmetrical objects can have either one line of symmetry or more. They could have two, three, four, five or many depending upon their shape. So let us take some examples. So the letter 5. So about the number 5, what do you think? How many lines of symmetry does this have? So when you look at 5, you imagine a horizontal line of symmetry or a vertical line of symmetry. Do you think it divides it into two equal halves? No. So this is not a line of symmetry. Think of a horizontal line. So does this divide it into two equal halves? No, not again. So in case of 5, if you think of any line of symmetry, even if you think of diagonal lines, you would see that there is no such line which can divide it into two equal halves. So therefore, we can say that 5 has no lines of symmetry. Let's look at the alphabet Y. How many lines of symmetry it has? So, in case of Y, if you look at it from like with a vertical line of symmetry, it divides into two equal halves. So you see the right side and the left side, they are exactly identical. And if you fold the paper along this line, the two parts would exactly overlap each other. So it has a vertical line of symmetry. So that is one line of symmetry. Does this have any other line of symmetry, a horizontal line of symmetry? No, because it doesn't divide into two equal halves. Similarly, think of other lines and you would see that they also do not act as a line of symmetry. So the alphabet Y has one line of symmetry. Let's look at the circle. So how many lines of symmetry a circle has? Now can you think of a line which divides the circle into exactly two equal halves? Diameter. So diameter is what? It is a line segment which passes through the center of the circle. Now how many diameters a circle has? Only one? No, because this is a diameter. Similarly, this is also a diameter. This is also a diameter. This is also a diameter. So basically, a circle has many diameters because you can draw many such line segments which passes through the center of the circle. Right? So, and all of these are diameters. Now, since there are many diameters and each diameter acts as a line of symmetry because it divides the circle into two equal halves. So therefore, a circle has many lines of symmetry. So these are three different examples where we saw that an object can have zero number of lines of symmetry or one line of symmetry or many lines of symmetry. Now let us look at symmetry in numbers and alphabets. Let's look at some more numbers and let's see that how is the symmetry in them. So here we have uh, the number 8 number 3 and the alphabet X. So let us look at the symmetry of all of these numbers and alphabets. Let's start with X. So in case of X, we see that a horizontal line divides it into two exactly equal halves and therefore it has a horizontal line of symmetry. When you look at a vertical line, this also divides it into two equal halves. Therefore, uh, X has a horizontal and a vertical line of symmetry. Now let's move on to 8. In case of 8, we again have a horizontal line of symmetry because this again divides it into two equal halves. One half is like this, the other half is like this. Similarly, a vertical line divides it again into two equal halves like these. Therefore, 8 also has one horizontal line and one vertical line of symmetry. How about 3? So in case of 3, Horizontal line, well, it has a horizontal line of symmetry because the two parts are identical. But what about vertical line? So it doesn't have a vertical line of symmetry because even if you try to draw a vertical line, so one part would be like this, the other part would be like this. So which are not identical. So 3 has only horizontal line of symmetry. Now let's look at few more numbers and alphabets like 6, 
O, P and I would want you to try these out by yourselves like how many lines of symmetry each of these alphabets and numbers have. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.